so a student has asked to go over grade 9 probability questions so I'm going to go for a mixture and hopefully you'll be able to pick up the skill. So the ratio is an important key part and we've got the probability that both the counters taken are blue is 1 over 20 and two counters are removed at random so they are not replaced if that makes sense, it's conditional probability. So red to blue, so let's call the counters x, so we can say 3x are red, so x and r must be blue. So the total amount of counters must be 3x add x equals 4x. So let's do a little tree here. So the probability of red first is going to be 3x out of 4, uh, over 4x. Right, so red again is going to be, because there's one less red in counter in the bag, so that's got to be 3x minus 1, but remember there's one less counter in the bag, so that's got to be 4x minus 1, and so that's getting red again, and we're going to have space. Now let's just do the whole tree, it'll be easier. So blue is x here. No blues have been taken, so that's going to be x, but there's still 4x minus 1 total counters in the bag. Okay, so let's go down to blue here. So blue is x, so first blue is going to be x over 4x. Now blue, then red. Red, no red counter was taken in this branch, so that's red is 3x. But remember there's one less counter, that's 4x minus 1. So blue again, don't need to do the arrows, it's going to be, remember there's one less blue, we follow this branch because we picked out blue, and there's the total amount of counters in this branch is 4x minus 1. And then we know that this equals, those two things equal, or multiply, 1 over 20. So we need to solve that. So, let's write this here. x over 4x times x minus 1 over 4x minus 1 equals 1 over 20. Now we can simplify this by cancelling out this x here. Okay, so that actually becomes 1 over 4 times x minus 1 over 4x minus 1 equals 1 over 20. So let's combine that x minus 1 over. 16x minus 4 equals 1 over 20. So let's multiply both sides by 16x minus 4, then multiply both sides by 20. So we'll cross multiply is probably easier if just a bit quicker for you to do this. And one times 16x minus 4 is going to give us this. So now we're going to get. 20x minus 20 equals 16x minus 4. When we want to expand that. So I don't know why my writing goes diagonal all the time. So let's just solve this, get rid of the smallest amount of x. That's minus 16x on both sides. So we're going to get 4x minus 20 equals minus 4. We're going to plus the 20 
So we get 4x equals 16. So x must equal 4. And the question is, is work out how many counters were in the bag before any counters were removed. Well, actually, when we got to here, we've got the answer because we know the total amount of counters equals 4x. So if x equals 4, 4 times 4 equals 16. That is the answer. All right, let's try another one. Question two. So it's the exact same skills. So you practice it. So actually, give that a go. Pause the video and give that a go. Whilst I draw the tree out for this. Okay, so I've just drawn this. So we know we can let x, that 4x, because you don't know the real number of counters equals red, x equals blue, that fits the ratio 4 to 1. So 5x is the total amount of counters, where x is a number. Okay, and then two counters are uh, removed at random, so it's conditional like the last question. Probability that both counters are taken by red equals uh, 22 over 35, so that's the probability of our times one probability of r is 22 over 35 and i've just spotted something here 4x over 5x could be simplified to 4 over 5 just to make our working out a bit easier and that can be simplified to 1 over 5 by dividing out by x so if we go back to the first question It would have been far easier to just to make that 3 over 4 and 1 over 4 to start off with and it would have made our calculations a bit easier but you can see I cancel out to a quarter here and then so back to this question anyway so we do not need to do the whole tree because we're just talking about red and red right so we know that we're going to get 4 over 5 times of 4x minus 1 over 5x minus 1 equals 22 over 35. Now why is this 4x minus 1? Because we've taken out a red counter here. So there's one less red counter and there's one less counter in total to choose from. So that's why it's 5x minus 1. So let's just multiply that all out so we get 16x minus 4 remember that's a bracket so multiply all the terms multiplying fractions we multiply across so that's 25x minus 5 equals 22 over 35 let's just cross multiply So we're going to get 35 over 16x minus 4 equals 22, 25x minus 5. I'm pretty sure this will be on a calculator paper. If it's not, you can work this out. Uh, 35 times 16. That's going to give us 560x minus 140 equals 550x minus 110. And this looks quite nice now. We're going to subtract 550x from both sides. <coughs> so we're going to get 10x minus 140 equals minus 1 1 10 plus 140 to both sides so 10x equals 30 so x equals 3 and so there's exactly three blue counters in the bag so that means there's 12 reds 
Right, so that's 12 red to 3 blue. That is the same ratio of 4 to 1. Now, just to show you it making sense. Well, actually, that should make sense. But if you substitute that in, you will get that probability. Okay, that's a five marker. It's a really important skill. Okay, let's look at a different type question. Do you have a read? So there's five red and white blue counters. Okay, so the skills are the same. They just made it slightly easier because you don't need to make up the algebra yourself. She takes a bag, a counter from the bag at round and she puts the counter back into the bag. So remember she puts it back, then she takes another counter from the bag. Okay, so the first counter is red and the second counter is red is one over nine. So if you've got this tree, all you need to do is work out the probability of red red actually. So that's red, oh I should write red here. So, what's the probability of red? Well, with this 5 red and y blue, so the total amount must equal 5 plus y. Okay? So we're going to get 5 out of 5 plus y in the first pick. And there's red again. Or well, she puts the counter back, so to get red again will be 5 plus. No, not 5. No, she does. It is 5 because she puts the red counter back. So there will be 5 red again. So that's 5 plus y again. So we know 5 over 5y times 5 over... That's 5 plus 5y. That's 5 plus y times 5 plus y has to equal 1 over 9. So can you see the skills exactly the same? Let's expand that all out. We're going to get 25. So remember, pr equals 1 over 9. Uh, I'm going to expand, multiply these. So that's going to be 25 plus 10y plus y squared equals 1 over 9. Alright, we're going to cross multiply again. 9 times 25 is 175. That right up. No, it isn't. That's 7. 9, 4, that's 225. So that's 225 equals 25 plus 10y plus y squared. Let's rearrange that so we set that to 0. So we're minusing 225 on both sides. So you're going to get 0 equals, I'm just going to write the y squared in front, plus 10y. We're minusing 225, so minus 200. Okay, so uh, factors of minus 200 to get 10. Well, we know it's going to be 20 and 10. We've got a plus 10, so the 10 is going to be a minus. So we're going to factorize that now. Y plus 20. This is a quadratic. Y minus 10. So you get y, a solution is y equals minus 20 and y equals 10 here. This is how many blue counters in the bag. So y must equal 10. So y equals 10 because you're not going to have a negative number of amount of blue counters. Okay, so can you see those skills are very, very similar? Question 4 now. Have a read of that. Right. This question is similar, but two counters are removed at the same time, so they're not replaced. So all we know is the total here. 
is 4 plus x, that's the total amount of counters. Uh, the probability that both the counters are blue is 1 over 3, so we know, let's just do the branch of blue, that's blue, so the probability of blue is going to be x over 4 plus x, and then another blue is going to be, well it's one less blue now, so it's x minus 1 and one less counter, so we can just call that 3 plus x now. So these two multiply together. Equals one third. Let's combine that to x squared minus x all over 12 plus 7x plus x squared. That all equals a third. Right. Now we um, cross multiply again. Remember we'll find the value of x. So that's all we need to do is cross multiply. So we're going to get 3 x squared minus x equals 1 times all of that. But I'm just going to write it in the order of x squared in front. Now that's the same thing as this. Let's expand that out. We want to set this to zero so we can solve. So I'm just going to do this in one. Well, first I'm going to bring minus the x squared and minus the seven x over. So we're going to get two x squared minus ten x equals twelve. That looks correct. Minus the twelve, so we're going to get two x squared minus ten x minus 12 equals 0. Now you might not be so brilliant at uh, factorising quadratics with a coefficient. You should be able to do it, but don't worry if you, in this question, don't worry if you can't, because you can simplify this, right? Divide by 2 on both sides to make it a bit easier for you. So you get x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. Um, so that's going to be x x, x, so I was assuming this is all non calc actually because you can factorise minus 6, you're going to have a minus 6 and a plus 1 1 equals 0, so we know x can equal minus 1 to solve that or x equal to 6 but it's a total amount of counters in the bag so x equals 6, that's what it's asking us that is not too bad I'm going to zoom out so hopefully you can see the whole question done. Pause it here if you want to have a look at that and see if you can do that. Okay, question five now. That's worth six marks, jeez. Right, can you see question five is exactly the same score as before. The numbers are just different. So, you know, do just give that a go and see if you get the answer x equals 7 um, I am going to just pause the video have a go and I'm going to just show you the answer straight away so you don't have to watch through another explanation so the total is going to be 5 plus x the total amount of counters so if we do the tree because we're only concerned with red times red we're going to get 5, because there's 5 red counters out of a total of 5 plus x. Once you picked out one red counter, there's only going to be 4 left, and one less total amount of counters, so that's going to be x plus 4. So the same school as before, we're going to get this. These two algebraic fractions equal 5 over 33. We cross multiply 
to get this I could have divided by 5 earlier to make this a bit easier but I've rearranged it then divided by 5 then factorise to get x equals 7 I'm going to zoom out to the whole thing hopefully you can still make that out on your phones pause the video and hopefully you got that right as long as you got there so here's another one there are n counters in the bag so n is the total now this is a bit different n equals total we know 4 is red so what's blue well that must be the total minus 4 so blue is going to be n minus 4 to represent blue he takes a counter from the bag at random and does not replace it so it's like the previous question then he takes another counter at random from the bag so we're just looking for two blues in a row now show that so if you do the tree but at this stage you don't even need the tree probability of blue at the start is n minus 4 divided by the total amount n it's not replaced so getting blue again is going to be one less blue so there's one less blue that's going to be n minus five and it's one less counter over n minus one So now we know blue is 1 over 3 to get two blues in a row. So we know that equals 1 third. So like before we multiply those and we've got to try and work this out so it equals this. This is a good guide. That's 1 third. I'm going to do another line here and expand this all out so we can work off something a bit cleaner when we multiply across I'm thinking it's going to make it easier for later that's n squared minus 9n plus uh, why am I doing that plus 20 over n squared minus n and that equals a third okay now we can look we can't cancel or simplify any of this so let's carry on so we are going to cross multiply again so cross multiply to get 3n squared minus 27n plus 60 is going to equal n squared minus n let's rearrange all of this so we're going to get 2n squared so minus n squared on both sides plus in n minus 26n plus 60 equals 0 remember my tip here make it easier divide this out by 2 because 0 divided by 2 is still 0 so we're going to get n squared minus 13n plus 30 equals 0 that's just going to be easy to factorize that's going to be n minus 3 n minus 10 equals 0 so we have the answers n equals 3 or n equals 10 they're both positive so it could be that but we know there are 4 Oh, actually we don't even need to get to that it's just, just to show that that equals that so we've done that is there part b oh find the value of n that's probably got to be worth two marks so that calculation is down here now n has to equal 10 because we know there's four red counters right so n can't be three so n must be greater than three four red counters this working out here is for this because once you get to this line you've shown the answer that's quite easily done big that's not going to be worth seven marks now but you can do that right so this is exactly the same question guys 
this time you just get the whole tools in. 8 of the counters are red and the rest are blue so n minus 8 equals blue 8 equals red pause the video give it a go and I'm just gonna put the solutions in so here we go n is the total n minus 8 is going to be the amount of blue counters because we know 8 are red so the probability of blue blue is going to be this 1 over 5 we're going to expand that out because that's a bracket and we want to show this okay and we cross multiply here to get this so this is cross multiply makes it a bit easier then set to zero now I should say we're dividing by four just so it makes it easier to factorize and we do need to show that for the solution and that is straightforward so do go back give these questions a go and I hope you've got these types of questions mastered or the hang of it at least so you can earn some valuable method marks a lot to be earned there okay class this is a probability question and I've going to answer this at a request from a student and this is worth five marks so it will help push your grade seven to an eight so we do need to have to use algebra because we do not know the number of counts in the bar uh, in the bag we're going to use the letter R to represent red counters and G to recognize uh, to represent I mean green so first step is once you read this whole question we know the probability that the counter is green from the first pick is 4 out of 9 so normally P green if you knew how many you put the number here divided by the total number of counters so all we know is green is the number of counters so I should say green number on the right NO for number okay so green and all the counters all together must be R plus G now they've told us that equals 4 out of 9 now if you know cross multiply that's going to be 9G and we're going to multiply the 9 across and then the R plus G across equals 4R plus 4G now we're going to minus 4G on both sides so we're going to get 5G equals uh, 4R so the amount of green counters is going to equal G 4R over 5 this is the amount of uh, green counters represented in R now let's use this second time 4 red counters and 2 more green counters are put in a bag and the counter is taken from the bag the probability that the counter is green is 10 out of 23 so this time in the second scenario P green is going to be green plus an extra 2 greens or just a plus an extra 2 counters that represents the amount of green over R plus green but remember there was two more green and four more red counters and this is just the total amount so that's going to be plus six now we know that equals 10 over 23 as stated in the question okay we're going to cross multiply again so 20, we're multiplying by 23 both sides and then doing R plus G plus 6. So that's going to be ooh, not 20. 
that's going to be 46 G I mean 23 G Twenty three G plus forty six because that's twenty three times two equals now ten times I is ten R plus ten times G is ten G plus sixty. Okay. Now let's ooh, did I put the G in here? Nope. Ten G. Now let's simplify the G's and so next line is we're going to get a minus in 10G. So we're going to get 13G. Remember G represents the amount of green counters. Plus 46 equals 10R plus 60. Let's minus the 46 on both sides. So we're going to get 13G equals 10R plus 40. 14. Okay. Now we know G in this question, because G has to be the same, is 4R over 5, because there's two different terms we can't solve that, so we sub this in into here. So that's 4 times 13 is 52. So we're going to get 52R over 5 equals 10R plus 14. Now you can see this is 5 marks, it's towards the end. So it's a grade 9 question. Let's multiply out by 5. I haven't shown these steps because it's going to take up too much room normally. So we've got 52R, remember we have to multiply each term because there are two different terms. Equals 50R plus 70 subtract the 50r so you get 2r equals 70 so the amount of red counters originally must be 35 now we can sub into here so green equals 4 times 35 over 5 so green is going to be 28 so yeah red green is 28 so they say you must say so red 35 green 28 that's a lot of algebra there but it is doable possible to make some mistakes with your multiplying out but it is a doable question Okay, so this is on the calculator paper. And you have... Okay, where are my red pennies? The ratio of the number of small cubes to the number of large cubes is 4 to 9. And the ratio of the number of red cubes to the number of yellow cubes is 3 to 5. So we know there's small and large cubes and they could be red or yellow. What is the least possible number of cubes in a bag? So this is actually an LCM problem because how many parts here? There's eight parts here, right? Of red to yellow and small to large. There's 13 parts here. So this is like an LCM question really and the LCM of 13 and eight is 104 so 13 times 8 that's 104 uh, normally when you have two numbers that are, L, uh, that are LCM normally the LCM is when you just multiply the two numbers unless the number is a multiple of the other as in so 5 and 10, the LCM of 5 and 10 is actually just 10 because 5 goes into 10. But if you was actually write this out, you would find that the LCM is 104. So that answer is 104. 
work out the least number of large yellow cubes in the bag. So let's share one of four divided by 30. We know we're going to get eight. There's 13 here, right? When we add those together. So one part or one proportion equals eight. So four to nine times by eight. 8, that's 32, 9 times 8 is 72, and that is a small cube to large cube. Now red to yellow, and right here, red to yellow is 3 to 5. So what's 104 this time? Because that total is worth 8 divided by 8. We know one part is worth 13. So let's times that by 13. That's 39. Times by 13 is 65. And that makes 104. Okay. Work out the least number of large yellow cubes in the bag well this means there's 65 yellow cubes in the bag and the least possible number of large yellow cubes so and there's or well, 32 small cubes the rest are large so if we do 65 minus 32 that equals 33 large yellow cubes and it's a very wordy probability question with ratio hopefully you can pick up a few marks on that one